Hello there, my anatomically animated ankle sock attuned animation canceling little orphan annies. Welcome to another quick tips video. Um, this time I want to talk about animation canceling for different classes. And uh, once again, if you know of anything else to add to this video, please add it in the comments below as I'd like to start a conversation about this. But um, I do know of a few ways to cancel animations in this game that can be useful um, in battle. So let's start with the, the Ranger class here. Uh, the first two things I'm going to talk about are the grenades that uh, have a slow windup, such as the DNG grenade, um, and also I want to talk about the uh, prominence uh, prominence MA as well. So let me uh, go ahead and grab. Actually, no, I don't need to grab anything. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the DNG grenade is a pretty cool weapon. It's got a big big explosion radius, and it has a um, pretty uh, high damage, but unfortunately the animation is very long, as you can see here. You throw it here, it's pretty long animation, you can't move until right about now. Um, like, I'll be, holding the, I'll be holding the move on, my, on the stick the whole time, so I can't move until right about now. So it's a pretty long animation. So in, in previous EDF games, in EDF 4, um, you could actually cancel the animation by tapping the uh, change weapon button, but they no longer let you do that. However, with the addition of the sprint, it actually there is a way to still override the animation of the DNG. And the way you do this is you hold down the trigger the whole time. Don't let go of the trigger. And what you do is you just briefly tap the um, the sprint button, and that'll start up the throw. And then you tap it again, and it'll it'll stop the animation at the end. So this allows you to throw the DNG um, and still. Um, cancel the animation. So you can also cancel it before you throw it as well. If you tap it before the, the grenade leaves your hand, it allows you to cancel just in case an enemy's like right in front of you. You could always do that as a safety. But um, So once again, just tap the button once to start it, and then tap the button again to cancel the animation at the end. Pretty cool. Um, and now let's go on to the... Uh, and it, but if you don't have the trigger held down, though, for some reason, it will not let you do that. So you do have to hold the trigger down the whole time. Now let's go into the prominence MA, or the prominence in general. Um, if you use the prominence, you'll notice that there is a animation. Oops, the enemy died. Let me restart actually before it be quicker. There's an animation after you fire the missile before you actually can um, start reloading. Like watch the reload button here. As soon as I fire the missile, the reload doesn't happen. As you can see, it's red, but it, it takes about two or three seconds before it starts reloading. So the way you can uh, the way you can cancel that animation is by doing an animation. Um, or you can enter a vehicle. If you have a vehicle right next to you, you could be staying inside the vehicle and just quickly tap the circle button and go into the vehicle and out of it. Otherwise, you have to go to a gesture. And the quickest gesture that I know of, at least, is hand sign three. So now let's go ahead and um, fire this missile. And as soon as the missile leaves the thing, I'll start the animation and it starts to in the reload instantly. So that, that saves you about three seconds in the whole process. So it is pretty big. A uh, big, big, pretty big difference, especially on the ones that aren't leveled up or on the later ones that are actually... Um, the later ones actually have a longer reload time, so of course you can hotbar this to your uh, to your wheel, so you can do this without having to go into the menu. But uh, it allows you to uh, reload instantly. So a little quick tip there. Now let's go to uh, two other weapons that I want to talk about. These are a little more common, but they are deathly useful. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, the Fang here, and I want to talk about the. Um, other, there's a grenade launcher here as well that has a animation. The sticky grenade, I believe it is. Yeah, sticky grenade. So the Fang, unfortunately, they nerfed a little bit in this game compared to 4.1. It's only 13,500 damage, but it's still very good for burst damage if you ever need a sniper. So um, if you shoot the, the sniper, you'll notice that you get kicked back, and it's an animation that stuns you in place. So a way to alter that is just to uh, switch weapons right after you're done shooting instantly, and it'll start reloading instantly. So um, that's something that's been around since EDF 4, so a lot of people probably know about this, but if you don't know about it, it's definitely useful for any Fang weapons, or any, uh, for the Fang weapons, that there are a couple of them. And also for the uh, sticky grenade too, since this thing kicks you back and stops you when you th when you shoot this thing, um, you can also do the same thing. You can just switch weapons and uh, quickly switch back, and it'll start reloading instantly, and uh, you're either free of the animation. Now let's move on to the wing diver class. Now the wing diver only has uh, one weapon that I can think of that's valuable to do this on, and that would be the dragoon lances, um, as well as. Oh, sorry, not one weapon, but two weapons, as well as the Plasma Great Can. 
Um, let's go ahead and go into battle here really quickly. All right, the dragon, the dragoon lance, an amazing weapon. I use it all the time. I love it. But the negative of it is, of course, it stuns you while you're on the ground and you can't move for a couple seconds. So one way you can alter that is a lot of people will fly, fly a little bit when you shoot it, so it's not a big deal. And that way you can, of course, um, dash. Once you shoot it, you can dash to get your, your recovery back, but it does use a little bit of energy. But another way you can do it is just to change weapons, just like the stringer. You can change weapons twice and you have the... Uh, and you have the ability to cancel the animation. So that's the use for that, as well as the Great Cannon. You can do the exact same thing with the Great Cannon. You can either be flying a little bit so that it doesn't affect you as much in the air and then dash at the end, or of course you can uh, change weapons as well. Swap quickly to, um, to cancel the animation. And there has been times um, when I've been using the Dragoon Lance and I needed to cancel animation because either I was it was in a hectic battle and I accidentally shot the thing while I was on the ground and I was stuck there for a moment and you know it saves your life to just get ready to change that weapon if you need to just to cancel the animation. Now let's move on to Air Raider. Now Air Raider there isn't too many things um, that I could think of for animation canceling but there is one thing I want to cover really quickly. And that would be under the uh, the Nyx vehicles here. Uh, let's take any Nyx, it doesn't really matter. Alright, now um, as far as the turrets go, I don't know if I would... This might be a bit of a stretch for animation canceling, but one thing I like to do when I throw turrets is, especially if there's enemies nearby and you're about to get hit by ants and you need to throw turrets as like a last resort, um, what I like to do is I like to jump and then throw my turrets. Because if you see my video in the past, something I do all the time, and I mean all the time with Ranger, is jumping all the time while I'm fighting. Because when you jump, enemies will shoot your feet and they will miss you miss you with acid, they'll miss you with wasp stings, and, you know, when, when wasps are trying to shoot you with stingers as well. If you're jumping a lot, they'll miss you a lot. So, just something like if I'm in threat and enemies are coming after me and I need to throw turrets just to save my life, I will always jump and throw my turret so that I'm in the air and might and might dodge some of the acid before I, because the animation of, of the throw is kind of long and you're stuck in a place for a couple seconds. So, just something little I wanted to share as well as the Nyx. This, um, this once again might be a little bit of a stretch, but once you jump with the Nyx, you'll notice that there's like a stumble animation or like a stun animation here when you land. So um, if you didn't know about this, the quickest way to move in a, in a Nyx is to constantly jump the whole time because you can your jump can actually cancel your jump, <laughs> your previous jump stun animation, and it allows you to hop around very fast. And especially with the uh, the red Nyx, the the fire the fire ones, um, the red guards I think they're called now. But uh, but yeah, just something if you if you didn't know about movement in the Nyx, the fastest way is to just hop all the time rather than trying to fly or to walk. So uh, once again, once a little bit a little bit of a stretch, but I still wanted to at least include that in this video. And the last of all, Fencer. Uh, Fencer has quite a few actually. Um, a couple things I want to cover in this one is um, the jackhammer and the uh, let me take a shield here, jackhammer and a shield. Um, doesn't really matter which shield. Um, I'll just take a reflector, powered reflector. And then I want to talk about also the uh, heavy cannons, the 38 millimeters. Doesn't really matter which ones. Uh, first, actually, let me take a uh, weapon on my second hand here. And of course you need a dash. Well, you don't need a dash item, but it allows you to dash more than once, which is important for this strategy. But um, say you want to use... Um, first of all, let's talk about the jackhammer. Um, you'll notice when you when you dash in this game, you can't start the jackhammer up right away. And I'm not sure why they did that, but it was like that in the previous game as well. Where if you dash, it takes about like a good two seconds before you can start firing that jackhammer, which is kind of crazy. But um, I like to use a jackhammer in this game because it's very strong and it's 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 a very good weapon now that you can dash jump with it. But um, one way to cancel that that startup with the jackhammer is to reflect with your shield, and then you can start instantly. So if I'm taking a jackhammer and shield, I'll just reflect before I start firing, and I always build a fire instantly um, because I do like to take shields in this game now, and not just the reflector, but I like to take like you know the great shields or the uh, ion shields as well. So you're constantly holding your shield up. And then when you dash around and you want to attack, you can just quickly reflect and then start attacking instantly instead of having to wait for that two second delay before you can start attacking. So that's for the jackhammer. But if you also want to take a heavy weapon, 
Um, sometimes it's more beneficial to take a dash weapon with your heavy weapon, because if you take your heavy weapon or two heavy weapons, you'll notice when I shoot this, I can't move for a good three or four seconds before I can start walking or, or doing anything or changing weapons, especially like say you want to change weapons to jump away. Um, you can't change weapons for a good four seconds before you can start changing. So a way to cancel that is to take a dash weapon with your heavy weapons. So I can shoot and I can dash to cancel the animation, not to go through it again. And then while I'm shooting, I'm also, if I dash and then shoot, you also see that I kind of slide a little bit too, which is kind of a nice thing where you're constantly moving the whole time while you're firing your heavy weapon. As you can see, so you're a lot more mobile and you're still using a heavy weapon if you need to use a heavy weapon. So sometimes I find myself wanting to do that more often. And this also works with NC cannons as well. Um, I actually want to go back and show this because I think it's pretty cool um, with NC cans as well. Um, I used to do this with uh, in, in EDF uh, 4 as well, but you only had one dash in that game, whereas now you have multiple dashes, it's a lot more useful. So let me take a uh, different weapon besides that. Let me take a Blastle Spear instead, and an NC Cannon. And then last of all, I want to show... Um, this, of course, also, also this does work on Heavy Mortars as well, so let me take a Heavy Mortar. Um, um, just anything, anything that's heavy that has a kick to it, it's always, uh, it's always useful to take a, a dash weapon with it, um, if you want to stay mobile and still use it. So, uh, heavy mortar, yes. So now that you can dash multiple times in the game, it's not necessarily the worst idea to take a, uh, to just take dash weapons and no jump weapon only. I mean, you can, you can get away with just dashes now that you have six of them, if you don't need to be super fast on that mission. But, uh, like I said, this, is, this works for heavy mortars as well. You can always dash a couple times and then shoot your heavy mortar and you're still sliding the whole time and you can still be mobile while using the heavy mortar, which is nice, as you can see there. It's a little more obvious with NC Cannon. Um, you, can, you can fire NC Cannon while you're sliding and then when you need to move, you can start moving, sliding, and, you know, just constantly change this, chain these dashes together with your NC Cannon and it allows you to, um, to move quickly, because if you, you'll notice once again, if you use this, if you just use the NC cannon once, you can't change the weapons for a good four seconds before I can. I'll be mashing. Let me shoot this once, and I'll be mashing the change weapon button. And as you can see, it takes a good three seconds, three or four seconds. So this allows you to cancel that, um, but with a dash, and you're still able to be mobile with the NC cannon. So just something, just something I like to use once in a while in certain missions. I mean, most of the time I'm gonna be mobile, but uh, but yeah. Now one last thing I want to cover with Fencer. And once again, this might be a little bit of a stretch for animation canceling, but I do want to at least include it here. And that would be... And that would be the Arcane 6-barrel and the uh, Heavy Mortar, once again. Um, this time I want to take it with a dash jump setup. So I'll take a, a dash weapon and then a jump weapon, doesn't matter what I'm taking. And uh, as you'll notice, the Arcane are very strong missiles, um, pretty strong missiles, and they're a little, the only negative is they're pretty slow as far as their travel speed, but other than that, they're very very large blasts and very strong missiles. But I don't like them because you can't really do anything with them as far as you can't dash or jump with them for some reason. So I rarely take them. However, there is still a way to use them and still be safe uh, for the most part. So one thing I like to do is, um, if I have a dash jump set up, um, and I have a heavy mortar, um, something you can do is you can use the, the jump to just jump up in the air, and then you can switch weapons, shoot your heavy mortar, and then switch back before you before you land the ground, and then you can dash jump away. So that's, that's a good way to use like heavy mortars or even heavy cannons, like the 35 millimeters in the air, um, because you can always... You're still having to go through the animation, but you're going through it in the air, so therefore it's not as as punishing, and it allows you to use it much safer. And heavy cannon is pretty fun on a lot of missions. So as you can see, I can I can dash jump away before I even land to the ground. And this also goes for the arcane six barrel. Once again, um, you can jump into the air and use it in the air, and then that way your your animation's in the air. And then by the time you get to the ground, you can dash jump away. So. Just something I like to use once in a while if you want to use those particular weapons, and I think they're pretty good. I mean, they're definitely good. You can also put put a jump weapon on your other side of your arcane six barrel, but um, but it just depends on how you want to do that. But at least when you jump, you can uh, you can do it in the air. 
But the negative is, of course, it does take time to fire each one separately. So if you do have two, two uh, six barrels, one on each arm, then you're gonna have a long animation on the way down. If you're because it fires the first one, then it fires the second one. They don't fire at the same time, unfortunately. So, but still, it's just some way to get away, get a, to get away from the long animations of some weapons with the fencer class. So. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, like I said, if you know of anything else you want to share with, please uh, put it in the comments below for other people to, to watch as well and to notice. But, uh, but yeah, that's what I have for you, so I hope this was helpful for you. And once again, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And also, if you're interested in ways to support the channel, please consider liking the video or watching a few ads, as it does help financially, and it's very much appreciated. Thanks a lot.